Welcome to Sumster Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're going to play Spell Swords Cards Dungeon Top, which is a roguelike deck builder. It has some interesting ideas when it comes to how you utilize mana and card drawing, like kind of combines the two things together, which I think is quite interesting. And also with like minions, minion positioning. The game comes out into early access on the 16th of January, but I was lucky enough to get a key before that, so big thank you to the developer. And now let's start a new game. We're going to be playing with the Warrior. The Warrior is a powerful basic class that gets strong healing and survivability talents recommended for a first time player. There's also a Mage, but the Mage is a bit more difficult, so we're going to stay with the Warrior. And then here we can pick Allegiance. So first up we can go with the Guardians of Hell. Originally the local militia of Helm was formed by workers in the mines. Due to repeated attempts to steal their riches, Helm soon raised its own loyal army full of Rem, Minxians and hot-headed folk. An aggressive archetype that focuses on bursting down your opponent before they get a chance to retaliate. Or we could have a Hand of Kareem. Known also as the King's Guard, those loyal to the Kingdom of Kareem often employ warlocks and support practice of the Dark Arts. Ooh, I like that. A difficult combo organic allegiance that sacrifices its own minions to gain an advantage. Uh, I think we'll try, we'll try the Hand of Kareem. And this is kind of like the minions that we get. So we're going to click on Create a Hero. Half down the Death Walker. Ooh, I'm going to call myself Sumstra the Death Walker. I like that. Let's do it. All right. So let me first show you my deck of cards. So the way this works is that cards, there are three ways things the cards can represent. Actually four. Uh, minions, potions, spells, and weapons. We can only have one weapon at a time. Currently our weapon, we have a longsword with power of two, and you can only have one weapon at a time. So if you draw a different weapon, you want to kind of utilize. This is our hero. If he dies, then it's over. And these other guys are our minions. So we have a wolf, a Kareem Greghound, Predator. He has a dash, which means he gains extra move, which is pretty cool. Then we have Kareem Fellspeaker. When a minion is sacrificed, we gain one power. So we can destroy a mini minion as specified and we get a power. Power is essentially your attack, and the, which is the yellow thing, and the red thing is your health. Then we've got Vimfirm Legionary, last word, summon a copy without this effect in its place. Perform the ability when this unit is destroyed. Interesting. Uh, summon a copy, yeah, okay, same. A minion, when this minion dies, knock back two on adjacent minions. On attack, push the defender backwards as indicated. If it cannot, then damage is dealt instead. That's actually quite cool. And then we've got Faceless Initiate, range two. So range means that he can attack, normally you can only attack adjacent unit, but he can attack two units away. Uh, and then we have Carrying King Speed when summon, sacrifice an adjacent family minion and summon a meek servitor. So this could be useful with these guys when if they're sacrificed we get a power. So we want to combine like sacrifice these guys with, with him. And then we've got our spell. So spells are sort of like one time affecting which can allow us to deal damage. And here we've got another spell which is gives us block. You can also have potions which are sort of like one time used cards. So we're over here and we can kind of move around. We've got some sealed doors that we probably can get there. So we're going to move through this. And we, there's nothing in this room. Here we can see our healing potions and then flare stone. And down here we can see our initial mana, HP level and gold. So this is important. If you escape the dungeon, you can keep the gold. And there's something called a treasure card that um, is a card that you can use. But if you don't use it and escape the dungeon, it will give you money. So we can use that to sort of unlock new things in between runs. Strength in numbers is no match for actual strength. We can fight goblin pack leaders or run away. So we'll fight them, obviously. He has 2 strength or power and 12 damage. And we can pick our starting hand. So we could get the sacrificing guy, a spear and oh, Karim. Okay, let's, let's keep them all. And we have 3 mana. But none of these cards actually cost any mana. So we're going to place... You can only place adjacent to your main unit. So we're going to place them over here. And they start off by being asleep. So you can't move them when you place them. You can only move um, units or minions that have already been on the board for a while. Then I'm going to place this guy and sacrifice this other minion. So I've sacrificed... I've gotten this other thing instead, Meek Servitor. Which has 3 power and 3 health. And I should have gotten extra power myself, which I... Did I get that? 
I'm not so sure I got that, but okay. And then we can use a straight up attack on this. Now these two are asleep, so I can move myself. I'm gonna move myself to the here. You can only attack to adjacent units, not diagonal. Now, I said that this game is interesting combination of mana with card drawing. So how does that work? Well, when you end your turn, you will draw to the amount of your current mana. That's important, current mana, so we get three. If you discard a card, you'll get an extra mana up until your maximum mana. So that's really interesting. So that's why you sometimes don't want to use a card instead. All right, so we could do some attacks. Let's use the Servitor to attack this and we'll use our main knight. Why didn't it do any damage? Not sure. Okay, we'll attack with this guy. Oh, I guess they have some sort of a defense. Yeah, well, negates all damage suffered in one instance and charges are reduced by the same amount. Okay, fine. So we have to remove their block first. All right. We're going to move our main guy and then we're going to attack this yeah. goblin. The goblin is now dead. And we're going to move this guy to the left and this up there. Then we can place a faceless initiative, which is a range of two. So we're going to place him over here and try to attack the enemy hero later. And then here we've got... Another minion, we're gonna place him over here, let's say. And we can have a crag burster. When this minion dies, knock back to an adjacent minion. So we're gonna place it over here. So when he dies, he can knock back the other people. They probably said minion and not hero, right? So it wouldn't actually do any damage there. Okay, now it's my turn again. So let's attack this goblin. We're gonna move our hero to the left and attack their hero. And then we're going to move this guy down, and again, and attack. Nice. And this guy can move him much. And then I'm going to place this Harrying Craig Hound, who has extra move and deals double damage to targets with lower power. That's interesting. I'm going to place him over there, and we're going to give a block to my hero. So I can block his damage, and we're going to place another guy. Is this the sacrificing guy? No. This is just the last word, okay. So essentially every time this guy dies, we can draw another one, which is quite cool. So we didn't get any damage because of our block. And now let's start off with the Hound attack. Great. And up here with this guy, and then me. And we killed the hero with full HP left. All right, we have one, and we, now we can pick a loot. So the way this works here is that you can turn over two cards for free. And each additional card will cost you Flare Stone, which we have up here. We currently have three. And then you can choose any amount of them to keep from the amount that you turn over. So I'm going to turn over the spell because I quite like spells. Oh, this is a pretty interesting spell. Apply Empower to Minion you control till end of the turn. So this gives you double the power till the end of the turn. But it does cost you mana, which means that next turn you'll draw less cards unless you discard something else. Then let's uh, open some of these minions. A Black Steel Brigadier. Predator has plus one power for each other friendly black steel minion on the board. Interesting. But already three power, four damage is already pretty good. And especially with double power against people who have less. Do we have any other... What is it called? Black something? No, we've got none of the other ones. Okay, so, we, we, so I think we might try to actually get more of these black steel brigadiers. Because that, that could be a good combo. So we'll take, we'll take both of these. Actually, I, I'm not sure if I want to... Because in my test game, I had the spell and I never really used it. So it was just kind of polluting my deck. So we might we might not take the spell. Let's just take the minion. All right, we'll move down. Okay, we can go to the blacksmith and we can upgrade a card. We can upgrade one card for free. So if I try to upgrade you, it increases his power, which is good with the predator. But I kind of want to check what happens if I uh, upgrade the sacrificing person. Because... Ooh, minions destroyed by this count of sacrifice. That's actually interesting. Let's let's grab the Kareem though. If I upgrade you, you get more power and nothing else. And more hit points. I wonder if that's worth it, to be honest. If I upgrade the spell, three damage and stuff. Now let's I think we'll upgrade this guy. Yeah. We could upgrade some more, but then we need to pay treasure. And we currently have no treasure. Uh, but yeah, we can see over here that we have none. So we, we can do that right now. That's okay. 
Let's go to the right, for example. Ooh, this is an event. Good. Come across a freestanding alembic with a couple of vials below, filled with strange liquid. Oh, let's take it. Gain two potions. Absolutely. You found loot. Select any cards you want to keep. So first up, we've got the strength potion. Apply three power to unit you control, and then we consume it, which means it will remove the card from the deck permanently. Yeah, I'll take it. Is it like forever? Or, or I think it's just like for a remainder of the combat, I would presume. Heal unit you control and adjacent units up to 3 HP. Oh, that's very cool. We'll take them both. Let's go back. We'll go up over here. And we'll fight this guy. Even the lowest creature inspired the goblins. Yeah, let's fight. We could run away, but why would we? Alright, starting hand we get Sacrificing Person, Spell, and Crag Burster. Let's try to redraw the 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 crag burst i think you'd like something better all right we'll place this guy over there and the wolf over here and we'll do two damage straight up to the goblin now we should check what does the goblin do nothing actually the goblin does absolutely nothing all right good to know good to know just makes oh these guys have the the block and what is the other thing the other thing is nothing okay they just have the block okay so we'll start off with Oh, I mean, actually, we could sacrifice. Let's sacrifice this. Oh, and we get these guys. I like these guys. These guys are cool. We'll move this up there. Then I'll place these minions, let's say, there. And this there. And we'll move up and hit the goblin. Can't do any damage yet, but at least we can kind of get ready. And our turn. They hit me, but that's okay. What did, it, what did he kill? I'm not quite sure. Ooh, we have a rat. Interesting. Let's kill off this first goblin. And then we'll kill off the goblin up there. We could heal, but I don't think we need to heal just yet. Let's hit this. Nice. Move with the knight to the side and hit that goblin. And with the wolf, we'll move up there. Next we can place a Wormford Legendary. Let's place it over there. And a predator will place this guy over here. And we're not gonna heal yet. I mean, we could heal our main guy, but I don't want to, not yet. And we got him. Oh, we got him back. That was really cool. We hit him and we got him straight back. So let's hit up the, the hero. Then we'll hit him here. And we'll move this guy to the side. I'm gonna attack this goblin. Move this to the side, attack the hero. Move. Oh, we actually already killed the hero, so we won. I was gonna move around, but we didn't even need to. Alright, let's check out the loot first. We'll check the minions. Ooh, we could get another one. Absolutely. Let's check more minions, because that's what we want right now. Ooh, what is this? Archwing cost me two mana. When summoned, raise two. Exhaust cards from the top of your deck as specified. Ooh. When a minion is sacrificed, gain plus one, plus one. That's not bad, because we do a lot of sacrificing, and he has six power with six health. We gotta take him. We have to take him. That's that's. I mean, two mana is a lot. But it's good. Now we leveled up, which means we can make ourselves better. We can either gain plus four maximum HP, or we can at the end of each battle heal up to two HP. And I think I'd really like that. Or we can dash, gain extra move. I think we're gonna take the at the end of the, each battle heal, and let's move back down. We'll move here and we'll go down first. Nothing here. Okay. Ooh. Ingenuity and black powder mix well. Okay, goblin bomber. All right, let's fight a goblin bomber, I guess. Starting hand is sacrificing person. No, 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 it's the range guy. Okay, I don't know if I want that many spells. Let's just read out the spells. We don't need them right now. All right, we'll start this off with moving up. Then we'll place the wolf, the crack burster. And we'll place this guy. We're gonna have kind of like a line here. And I think that's it. Okay, let's see what he does. He's straight up killed. Okay. He has an interesting attack. What exactly does he do? Ranged. Oh, he has a range too. Okay. We give ourselves a three power. And heal. Now, I think I'm gonna place the Arch Fiend here. And then I'm going to hit... I, I, I think, you know what, let's give myself the extra power. 
So we're going to hit this guy and finish it off. We're not going to heal yet. So instead we're going to discard this card. It's going to give me two mana so I can draw two cards next turn. What is he doing? He killed that, but he didn't kill my super powerful guy, which is good. Now, do you have a range? No. Alright. So we're going to move forward, and then we're going to attack him for six, which is huge. And we're going to place this black steel guy over there, hit their goblin, and we're going to place the last word kind of guy, let's say, to here, to protect our hero a little bit. And we can draw more cards. Yeah, we got another one back. That's great. And then we can just move. Oh, we can move because he placed the goblin. That, that was really smart because we could have moved there and just finished it off. So now we cannot do that. Ooh, that was interesting. He just blew up and hit everything around him. You hit this. And then we'll place a new thing there. And move around. And then another one here and there. This can hit me, but that's okay. This only has one HP, so we're not too worried. We can just move up and finish it off. Yeah, like you kill it. Great. I'm not sure why it hit me, but it's alright. Okay, more loot. Oh, we can get a new weapon, so let's check it. Range 2 may attack up to two number of squares indicated away. Yeah, we're definitely gonna take this. Because we can hit one adjacent or two adjacent, which is really nice. And another minion. Who is this? Hunted Karmite. When this minion is destroyed, deal two damage to adjacent units. But I assume this means also my units? But I think it could be useful. We'll take it. Because if we combine that properly, that could be quite fun. So let's go down. What do we have here? Epias Devotees ask if you'd like to make a donation. Yeah, we could remove a card. Let's do it. What do we find not useful? I am thinking... I kind of like most of the things. Maybe this this um, attacking spell. Better place. Or actually the, the crack burst. We're not really using that much. Yeah, let's remove that. It's pretty weak. Yeah. We'll go back up. What is this? Twisted portal. A mysterious portal is glowing in the corner of the room. One side you see a normal path. The other the darker, more dangerous path. Which side do you dare to enter? Let's go a normal path. As you step through the portal, you hear screeching of gears and deep rumble, and as the giant door to the next room opens before you. So now we can go to this side, so let's do it. Oh, we've got another fight. Another bomber? No, Goblin Chief. Okay, let's fight it. 3 power and 16 health, that's quite a bit. Alright, we could get this minion, Hunted Karmite, Shield, and Healing. I guess we're gonna have to use the Healing, though. No, not in... I am going to redraw these two and keep them. I'm going to heal myself. Alright, so I'll heal myself right now. Then I'll place this. You have 316. Multi strike and additional actions each turn, including attacks. Okay, so we're going to place this over there. And I think we're going to discard this just so we can get more cards next turn. Alright. Placing his first thing. Okay. Now, we are going to place a last word guy over here and a sacrifice. Wait. You could sacrifice the last word guy. Okay, let's do it. Okay, and, and we get it back and we get the thing. So we're gonna hit this, I guess, move to the side. And then my hero's gonna move there and finish this off. And my hero can now attack two away, so my hero could actually attack him straight up if we had the... Like, if he wanted to. Quite useful. Now he keeps hitting these guys, that's not great. Okay. Alright, but... I can attack this here for six, which is really good. Then I can attack like that. I could move... A predator here and I'm gonna move my hero to the side and this to the side and I'm gonna place a hound over here and 
I don't know, this there, and what, what does this do again? Exhausted members turn, okay, so we're just gonna move it to the left. It's going to kill off this, I think, or it's trying to, but now I can actually hit it for six, which is quite good. I think we can actually win here. Two, and then I'm gonna step up and hit this. And then we heal for two, which is good. And we get loot and a level up. So more minions, sure. Yeah. I don't think we can take either one of these. We're just gonna say nothing because we don't have enough mana to use another one of these and I don't really like these these hunted caramites, they don't seem that great, so we'll just skip it. Okay, we can get another level up. Whenever a minion adjacent to your hero is destroyed, your hero gains one power till the end of your turn. I think we'll just increase our max HP. That seems like a better deal to me right now. Let's go fight over here. Goblin Psycho. This one stands shoulder to shoulder with its own living bomb. Okay. Okay, what do you do again? Alright, we've got... Um, sacrificing people and... I think I'll try to redraw this. Ooh, if I place the woman and then sacrifice her... It's not that useful because she's dealing damage to adjacent units. So... Actually, is that gonna hit me? I don't want to test it out. Like, if I do this... Is it gonna hit my hero? Okay, well, good to know. Good to know for next time. Alright, now we can kill off... Well, let's attack this goblin here and finish it off. And here we can kill... Ooh, this is also hitting a Jason unit. Deal 2 damage to Jason unit when killed. So we're gonna move this up. Finish this off. And it hit it there here. That was actually really good. And now I'm gonna move myself here. Because I can use the strike for 2 turns, remember? Then I'm going to place my last word guy over here. Pound. And a sacrificing up there. Ah, oh, now we can hit it. But we could use my hero to hit that guy. So just to show you, I can now hit it like this, which I think is quite cool. Finish it off. Then the... Actually, the wolf should probably move to the right. We'll move this up. We'll kill this off. And it will hit adjacent unit. No, it wasn't the right thing. Okay. Yeah, and... We'll place this archfiend guy over there and we'll add a block to this wolf and we'll move this to the side and the hero up so the hero can use the range attack on this later all right or actually we could just kill it with the archfiend bam dead that went very well i think loot what could we get Ooh, treasure we definitely want to treasure treasure 20 sacrifice a minion so we could use it to sacrifice a minion or we can keep it and then we get treasure once we run away from this now, I, I want, kind of want to check the weapons, because I think the one we have is not the best weapon in the world. What is this? Cleave. Damage is also dealt to enemy units adjacent to attacker. Ooh, yes, please. Or do we want to check the other weapon? But then we're only going to take one. Sure, let's check the other weapon. Arsync 2, apply burn 1, may attack up to the number of squares indicated away, but not adjacent. So this is not great. So what we have now is range 2, but this just means we can only attack the thing 2 away, because we can do adjacent, so this is not great. Burning is fine. Burning is actually interesting, let me read that. On attack, apply an effect on the defender. Each time they take damage equal to the number of charges stacked, so it doesn't actually deplete. It's like burn forever, unless they do not move. So I think I'll just take this weapon and the treasure. And that's it. Alright, let's go back up. And we'll fight another goblin berserk this time. The furry of the small. <laughs> and there's one attack. That's kind of weak, man. Alright, we get defense, wolf, and black thing. Let's get rid of the defense. We don't need that. Okay, we get an attack. Let's use it. We'll move ourselves up. And then we'll place a wolf there. And then uh, this guy there, let's say. And we've got cleave, but we now no longer have the range of two, so we gotta keep that in mind. Okay, that was interesting. Uh, that we have to, we can only attack like straight up. So let's uh, move our hero to the side and hit this. And this. And we'll place an archfiend up here, I think. And 
I could place the woman there, but it's gonna hit me more than it's gonna hit him. So let's just play last word guy there instead. He's gonna hit my hero, I presume. Yep. Okay. Now we are going to hit him for two, and then with this guy, and we want again. We need loot. More weapons. Do we want to check more weapons? Sure, let's check more weapons. Ah, this is what we had before. We don't care. Minion, ooh, zero health, zero power though. Target an adjacent friendly minion for sacrifice. Deal one damage to the enemy hero. Ah, so this is sacrifice for the price of dealing damage to an enemy hero no matter where we are. I think I actually quite like that. I think I'm gonna take it. That is very interesting. In Dimly Lit's room, a single robed cobalt is waiting for something. Perhaps it was you. Ooh. <laughs> Romance with the lizard sorcerer. <laughs> I mean, come on, it was too good not to say. We definitely don't want to use the treasure, so let's redraw. Okay. Let's place. So let's move up. And we'll place the sacrificing person here. And you there. Good. And I'm gonna place the archer bolt here. And end the turn. We're only gonna draw one card, which is not great. Yeah, and it actually killed him. But it's okay, we've got the other things which I care about more. Alright, let's hit you and here. And we're gonna move to the side and finish it off. And we did so well. That was perfect. Absolute perfection. Alright, more loot. More minions. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, nothing, nothing's happening then. Oh, we get more upgrades. What is here? Start each encounter with two evasion. The next attack against this unit misses the... Ooh, yes, please. That is perfect. Okay, we gotta go up. Here. Let's see. Nothing. You're getting... Ooh, this is a boss fight. Party of orcs are searching the area for loot. Their chieftain wields a rather large axe. Alright. Three damage, 18 health is quite a bit, man. That is a lot. Uh, no spells. Uh, this We don't want this woman. Not yet. Not yet. And we get a treasure card? Seriously? Can I discard a treasure? Yes, I can. Good. So we're going to place a sacrificing person and move up and place an Archibald Wolf there. Do you have any interesting abilities, enemy? Cleave. Oof. And we'll discard the treasure. And he has a cleave. So we want to watch out for that. You, let's place, wait, we can move up and hit this. Do you have anything interesting? Haste knockback. And then we're going to move you up and finish that off. And then we're going to move the wolf up and we're going to place two of these, one there and one there. So they can, they now get three and five power, which is pretty good. Can't complain about that. Oh, I mean, one of them is dead already, but. Ooh, this guy has a ranged attack? Interesting. Alright. So, we also have a cleave. So we are like cleave against cleave. Alright. A uh, you... Oh. We want to sacrifice... Wait, but if we sacrifice them both... Wait. Let's move you up. Hit the enemy. Move over the hero up. Uh, also hit the enemy. Then we're going to place the sacrificing guy here. Sacrifice him, get yourself the thing. You move up and hit their hero. And then you move up and kill this. What does this do? Adjacent friendly units gain multi-strike. Oh, we definitely don't want them to have that. We're gonna place the last word guy over there. Though. Yeah, this is not the best positioning considering that he has cleave. Yeah, that's that's not the best setup. That's okay, we've got evasion and we're gonna be fine. Okay, we could place the woman here. But who do we want to sac- we could sacrifice this guy. Sure, let's place her there. Sacrifice... Wait, why didn't you sacrifice him? Oh, she has to. T so she has to have a turn to target the enemy. Okay, that's not what I expected. Okay, you hit him, and we won. 
So she has to like wake up and then she has to sacrifice somebody and then we get the damage. Well, that actually makes her kind of useless. I don't want her now. Ooh, what is this? Hungering fell beast. At the end of each turn, raise one. Why would you want to have that? I, I don't want to have that now. Gain one power on a card. Oh, okay. I see now why you want you to have that. So place this and this together and it would have like an insane power if you waited a few turns. But this guy has such a low health that I think it's pretty easily killable. I don't think we want either one of those things. I'm not gonna take them. Well, let's have an event. Come across a shell-shocked adventurer staring from a corner in the room. He scrambles up to you begging. Can you spare a powerful card? I need to escape. I'll try to do this healing potion. I don't want a healing potion. Requires a 4 power minion. Intimidate him into giving you the potion. Yeah, we can do that. Let's intimidate him. Did I get it? I have a, I have a guy like this. Or this. I don't know if that worked. It didn't say anything. No? Oh, oh no. The grey shade of dwarf flickers into view before you as you enter the room. It does not look aggressive. and merely points at your weapon and then at your deck and extends one hand. And over there. Ooh. Or hand over weapon. Let's hand over the weapon and get a new one. Sure, okay, I'll give you my weapon, man. You ask nicely. <laughs> the other guy must be so confused. He's like, I begged you to help me, and he said no, and all he did was stretch out his hand and gave him your weapon like no stress. Yeah, that's how we roll. Oh, he gave it back to me. Upgrade it? Thank you, Mr. Dwarf. See, this is how you deal with people. Mysterious portal. Uh, I don't want to enter the portal. I want to keep looking here. Let's not go through the portrait. What is this? A wandering merchant shows you his wares. Oh yeah, let's buy cards. We've got gold. Oh, we could buy some cool weapons. What is this? Flarestone pack. Three flarestones to reveal rooms on the map. With flarestone are not kept in your deck and are worth five gold each. Keen blade. Your hero may only will this will replace. So this just power three and nothing. So that's not great. What is this? Exhaust a random minion in your hand and apply burn to a unit equal to the exhausted minion's power. I quite like that. Because burning is strong. If we burn somebody with the power of four here, that could be insanely good. I mean, the enemy can just like not move, but it's still gonna hit at least once. I, I think I like that. How much does this cost me? Oh, we can buy it for free? Oh yeah, give it to me, man. Th that, that was great. It's just like, <laughs> apparently the first one is free with the merchant. And I think it's time to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. And you can click on the right top to watch other deck, roguelike deck builders like Deck of Ashes or Devil's Deck. I'll see you there. Bye bye.